Hey YouTube land, Jake Anders here doing another action figure review. Now this is something I generally don't do on my channel that often, um, which is Marvel Legends. Normally the Marvel Legends stuff is A, very pricey over here, and B, sometimes you can't find the full waves or the really good figures that you're looking for, so kind of have to pick and mix. Now this is one of my kind of favourite Spider-Man figures. Um... It, I remember seeing the original version of this way back in the 90s on the old Toy Biz card back, which is what this card back is actually inspired from. And what this is, is the Spider Armor Mark 1. So the packaging has that retro Fox Kids or uh, Fox uh, Spider Man animated logo to it. Um, the Marvel, even the Marvel Comics logo has, is the kind of original look to it. it. Does have the Hasbro logo? Doesn't have a Toy Biz logo. Uh, I think the originals were by Toy Biz. And then you have a brief look at other figures in this wave. Now I have picked up at least two other figures in this wave. I passed on Hammerhead. I never really saw Hobgoblin. I did pass on Shocker as well. I probably should have gotten Marvel Shocker. He's actually kind of a cool character, but. He was always kind of interesting in the in that animated series. And then you have Symbiote Spider-Man, which is one I picked up. And the Ben Reilly Spider-Man, which is the other one I picked up. Because, again, I kind of like the costume design. I'm not the biggest Spider-Man fan. And I wouldn't know much, you know, a lot about the back history of all the different kind of Spider-Verse characters. Now, if I just bring this in, I'm going to move my camera a bit so I can bring it down. You do get a write-up for this. Now, it's done in several languages, so it is repeated. But you get, when Spider-Man's powers aren't enough, he dons his patented spider armor. The ceramic metal battle suit protects Spidey from the deadliest foes, giving him time he needs to take on the bad guys. As far as I remember, they actually had this suit in one, one episode of the animated, the original old, well, not the original old, animated series the original 90s animated series and it turned up in i think it was like the second to third last episode of the series where it kind of did a spidey verse kind of thing where there was multiple spider-man from different universes helping the spider-man from the show's universe and one of them was this really over-the-top arrogant version of peter parker who's who people, everyone knew was Spider-Man pretty much and had his own multi, I think he was like a multi-millionaire and this is where the spider armor suit came in. He was able to afford to build his own spider armor suit. So I'm pretty sure that where, that's where that kind of came from. But the figure itself is really, really cool. I do really like the figure. Now, before I bring in the figure or bring in, go through the figure, I'll just go through the accessories pretty quickly. He comes with these web splats. Now, I don't remember the original figure having web splats. I remember the original figure having like a web shield. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I, I remember it having something that would clip onto the arm uh, more than just these kind of splats. You can't really do anything with them. They're not sticky or anything. They, they just like fall off people. You, can, you can't even stick them onto anything behind. Like it, it, the only way to stick them onto something is if you glue them on somehow. You do get those with them. I don't even think they glow in the dark. It would have been maybe if they were glow in the dark, it might have been interesting. He does have two alternate hands. So he has his patented web slinging hands with the armor plating on it, which is pretty cool. It matches up with the armor of the figure. You can see he has a he has closed fist hands. I would have liked a grip hand maybe as well. Would have been kind of nice to have some sort of grip hand. But overall, he's he has what he has. Um, I know the other figures actually have like a wall crawling exp um, kind of hand that's kind of, you know, exp uh, not expanded, but um, extended out hands for w wall crawling poses. He doesn't seem to have that, which is a bit of a shame. But before I get on to him himself, I just want to bring in a couple of comparisons. So because he's one of my favorite fig versions of Spider-Man or suits that he has, this is the three and a quarter inch version that Marvel did, or Marvel Hasbro did a while back. Unfortunately, when they were getting around to doing this figure, I was really hoping to get this figure done 
for the it used to be called Marvel Universe and then became Marvel Legends uh, Universe, I think. But originally it was the Marvel Universe line. When they got around to this figure, they had started reducing the articulation on these figures. So the head is on a ball joint. I may have done a review for this one. I'm not too sure. The head is on a ball joint. The arm just has a single swivel with a, um, a single bend with a swivel. There was nothing in the hands. The previous figures had uh, wrist articulation. He has nothing in the waist. The previous versions of figures from that universe or from the Marvel Universe line had like a dual jointed waist kind of thing. They had a upper diaphragm and sometimes they'd have a waist swivel. They got rid of that. He has dual knees, which is still what they used to have. Um, you have a bit of a bend on the on the hip, and then you have rocker ankles. Which is kind of a shame because he can't really get into the great twisting poses that well because of his lack of waist articulation and lack of, you know, you can kind of twist the arm here for a, a wrist swivel, but it doesn't look as good as if he ha if he had wrist actual wrist swivel, it would have been far better. But um, it is another version of this one. He also did the eyes in white, which is interesting because the uh, all the other versions of this figure I've ever seen have black, blacked out eyes, which is kind of interesting, to say the least, because I do have one other version of this figure. And here he is. This is the poor original version, Toy Biz version, that they did way back in the day. You can see a very similar design. You have this kind of armor texture pattern to the, or the webbing pattern to the armor. Um, it does look like he's kind of wearing a sort of chainmail suit as well, which is kind of interesting. He had a blast or web firing gimmick. Uh, the web thing missile from his lungs since disappeared. Uh, he was very limited on articulation. He did have a ball jointed head, just like the new one. He has double jointed elbows like the new one. He only had a hinge on the wrist, bicep. Nothing in this arm at all. He just had a rotation. He was at this weird kind of angled pose. If you look, he's kind of off to the side. He only had forward back on the hip, a single jointed knee, and a kind of weird angled foot articulation. So this one that they've released, that Hasbro has released, is a far better version of this character and figure. So for articulation, he has a ball jointed head, but you get a good range of movement out of it. You can rotate the head all around, get a good up side to side a bit, so you get some tilt and forward and back. He has a ab crunch. He has a waist swivel. He has rotation all the way around on the shoulder. Shoulders can go out that much. He has bicep swivel. He has dual jointed elbows. He has wrist swivel with a hinge. Uh, those web slinging hands do have hinges as well. In fact, I'll just pop one of these out and pop in the web sling hand if I can do it on screen. So he has a web slinging hand. He has hip joints that can go splay out that much. You can kick forward, dual jointed knees. He has rocker ankles in the ankle. So you can get some great range of move poses out of him. He has a thigh swivel as well. So you can get quite a lot of good spidey poses out of Spider-Man, which is the one thing, as I said, about the previous two figures. Spider-Man is generally known as being a fairly uh, dynamic, posable character. So you know, having limited posability on figures of Spider-Man has always been a kind of a downside. But overall, this one is quite cool. But as I said, you can see this guy, in, even though it's not quite whited out eyes, or blacked out eyes, they're not white. They have like a kind of brown tint to them. Whereas that smaller figure does have that um, kind of whited out eyes. And then just for a size comparison, because this is the Six Inch Marvel Legends line, I have a Stormtrooper because I don't have any other real Marvel Legends figures to hand. So just pop in this good old stormtrooper behind him. 
I also have a Rebel Hoth Rebel Trooper. So you can see how he put, poses up or stands up to these guys. So if I just put him back into his natural standing pose, hopefully he won't fall over. And get him in a more just neutral spidey pose. You can see he does stand around a little bit taller than the Stormtrooper. And in fact, probably the best thing to do is bring in the old tape measure. So he stands just a hair taller, maybe about six and a quarter inches tall. Uh, you have to think that he is wearing a big kind of, you know, armored suit, though it does add some extra height to him. So overall, it is a really cool figure. I've always been a fan of that kind of uh, Spider-Man armor look. Uh, they have done others throughout the years and some of them haven't looked great. I always just like this kind of plain, simple silver black look. It just looks really good for whatever reason uh even in the image it looks like it was kind of a chrome armor if they could have pulled off a chrome armor that would have been even cooler but or vac metal armor but that would have been probably too hard to do but overall really cool figure uh if you can't find him i do recommend picking him up he's not a bad figure even if you're not the biggest spider-man fan and just want a kind of cool looking Spider-Man character or figure to have on your desk or anything like that. He does look pretty cool and he's kind of unique enough that he kind of, you know, he does look unique for a Spider-Man character. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video review. And as always, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed this review. Cheers, guys.